Hi, I'm Kristen Amdahl. In today's video, I want to show you how to make a really simple, very easy crochet Mobius cowl. And what I mean by Mobius is exactly this. It's a cowl that you just simply slip over your head, but it has a twist in it. And this particular one, I'm going to show you how to make it twisted without having to sew. So let's get started. Here's a close-up of the Mobius cowl and see how it's twisted just the one time. How we do that is by starting in the center. We're gonna start the Mobius cowl here and then we're, as we work twisted in rounds, we're going to be doing a figure eight loop and it'll make more sense when we get there. So by starting in the middle and doing a figure eight loop, we're actually only working one round and working our way up and down simultaneously from the center. So that when you end up doing the edging round, you're doing the top and the bo bottom all at the same time. Really cool and absolutely zero sewing. So this is just, I wanted to show you close up. Now we'll get started on the actual project with round one. For this pattern, all you will need is one skein of Be So Sporty, my 100% um, bamboo hand dyed yarn that sport weight 325 yards per skein. It comes with a pot of Rapture, my all natural delicate wash and the pattern. And you will also need an H or five, H8 or five millimeter crochet hook. If you follow the link on screen, it'll show you more information about the yarn and of where to download the pattern. We're actually not starting with round one. We're actually starting with a setup round and that'll make more sense when I show you. I'm going to tie the yarn in a knot onto my hook. Some people like to do a slip knot. I prefer to do a knot knot. Um, how you decide to do it is perfectly acceptable either way. Um, that's just how the way I, that's just the way I do it. So, okay, so our setup round is starting with an asterisk, which means that's where we're going to repeat from. We're going to chain three. So I'm going to hold my tail in my thumb and first finger and my main yarn between my third and fourth finger with my left hand. Yarn over the hook, pull through a loop, leaving the hook portion of the crochet hook facing down. We're going to crochet, uh, chain two and then we're going to chain three. So now we have three chains and notice how um, that could be a little confusing if you're a beginner because there is a loop on the hook. That never counts as a chain. You're going to count one, two, and three. One, two, three, not including the loop on your hook. So we have chain three, then double crochet in the third chain from the hook. So now that we know how to count them, not including this one, for third chain from the hook is counting from this direction, one, two, three. We're going to double crochet into that first chain. Double crochet is yarn over your hook, insert your hook into the chain specified, yarn over, pull up a loop. You now have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. Okay. And that's what we're going to repeat. For the full size Mobius, you're going to repeat that 29 more times for a total of 30 of these little clusters. We'll do a couple more. Chain three. And then double crochet in the third chain from your hook. One, two, three. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two yarn over, pull through two. Okay, we're going to chain three, double crochet in the third chain from your hook, one, two, three, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. I did the double crochet correctly, but I may not have explained every step. I think I forgot to tell you the yarn over in the beginning. So, chain three, we're going to double crochet in the third chain from our hook, not including the, the loop on the hook, it's going to be one, two, three. Double crochet is yarn over your hook, insert it into the specified chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So I now have four repeats complete. Okay, so if you're going to follow along with the pattern at this point, I would say let's do some homework. You want to do this for a total of 30 
Repeat so that you have 30 of these clusters in a vertical line. Okay, I know I told you to do 30 repeats of this, but I did half scale for demonstration purposes so that it makes sense in the video. And what I did was 16 repeats. So the only difference between your project and mine is that I did half the number of repeats, but everything else will be identical and you'll be able to see the shape take form just a lot quicker this way. So at the end of the setup round, it says to join in a round being sure that you twist one time. And I know that sounds like such a rule breaking situation because normally a pattern when you're working in the rounds is make sure you don't twist, right? And that's because once you twist it, it's going to then have this happen. And normally you don't want that if you're doing a cowl or a hat. So what we're going to do is make sure that it's flat to start with. And then instead of joining a slip stitch here facing, we're going to turn it one time to the back side and then slip stitch to join. So now we have one turn, so it's right side facing here and left side and wrong side facing there. Now we'll start round one, which is to slip stitch into that first cluster that we made. And think about it, we did those repeats on the setup round with a chain three on one side and a double crochet on the other side. So if you think of them as ovals, what we're in essence doing in this round now is working into those ovals. We're working into that space between the chain three and the double crochet. So we slip stitched into the first space or first oval and we're going to chain three, which counts as a double crochet, and work two double crochets in that same space. Okay, for a total of three double crochets, that chain three counts as the first one. So now we uh, continue on to an asterisk, which means this is where we're going to repeat from for the rest of the round, and we're going to work three double crochets in the next chain three space, or in that next oval repeat from the setup round. Okay, so now we have our three double crochets in that little oval repeat or around the chain three space. And we're going to repeat from the asterisk around, which means we're going to repeat three double crochets in each of those spaces around. And what will happen is when we get to the point where we think we're at the beginning of the round, because we twisted our setup round, we're going to end up starting our figure eight formation, which means we're working the top side of the figure eight right now. And then when we get there, we'll end up working on the bottom side. So I'll show you when we get there. So you want to work across your 30 repeats of three double crochets. And I'm going to work across my half scale of that, and then when we get back to where we think it's the beginning of the round, I'll show you what we do then. Okay, this is so cool. I'm so excited to show you this, because this is the point where if you were working a properly untwisted uh, beginning and working in the round, you'd have the beginning of that round facing you, and you'd slip stitch to join and start your next round. But because we twisted it, look it, we're about to the beginning of the first round, but yet we're faced with the opposite side of that first round, which means we're going to be growing up and down the same time in each round. So we're going to finish the last repeat of our what looks like our round, but in essence, because we're doing a Mobius twist, it's only the first half of our first round. So we're working our three double crochets, but now we're gonna work in the opposite side of those oval repeats or the chain three and double crochets of the setup round. So we're gonna work now from the opposite direction of that same chain three space. And we're going to work three double crochets in each of those all the way around. I'll show you what that looks like. See, now we're working. We started the round here and it's going that way, and now we worked our way around, and now we're going that way, and it's still considered round one. So you want to repeat this around, and I'll show you how we join this round and begin round two.
Okay, so now we've finished round one with our twist, and we're re we've reached the spot where we started the round with the chain three that counted as a double crochet. So we're going to slip stitch into the top of the chain three to join, which is insert your hook in that top of the chain three, pull a loop through and through the loop on your hook, slip stitch complete, and round is joined. We're going to slip stitch into the next double crochet, yarn over, pull a loop through the stitch and through the loop on your hook, chain three, which counts as the double crochet at the beginning of the round, and you're going to work two double crochets into that same stitch. Okay, skip the next two stitches, three double crochets in the next stitch. That's how the pattern is written, but in layman's terms, let me show you what we're actually doing. We're actually working three double crochets in the center double crochet of each of the groups of three double crochets. But in order to do that technically and following the pattern, that means skip the next two stitches, which is the last one of this grouping and the first one of the next grouping, and then work three double crochets in the next double crochet, which is the center of the next grouping. Yarn over, insert your hook in the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. We do that for a total of three times. Then we're going to skip the next two stitches and do three double crochets in the next stitch. And would you believe you have everything you need now to do the rest of this pattern until the edging round? So you want to follow the pattern along until you've done all of your rounds or finish when you think the uh, cowl is as long as you want it to be. You could go on longer than my pattern. You could do it shorter than my pattern. You do what works for you. And so you're going to repeat this round as many times as you need for your Mobius cowl. And then I will show you how to do the edging round. I'll show you on the original again. So what, we're, what that means we're doing now is we started here in the middle. That was our beginning oval setup round. And then we did our first round, which ended up continuing on to the other side. So that was the first round. Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh round, and then the final round is the scalloped edging. So go ahead and finish your rounds of three double crochet clusters in the center of the previous round of crochet clusters and we'll do the edging together after that. Alright, since we repeat that round identically throughout, I figured there was no reason to keep going for the sample. You're just going to keep repeating that for your specified length. And what I'm going to show you now is how you work the edging round on top of that. It's very, very simple. It just gives you, and it just gives you a pretty scalloped edge. You could certainly keep it like this. There's nothing wrong with this, but I'm going to show it to you because I happen to love a scalloped edge. So we're going to start with a chain three, where we slip stitch into the center uh, stitch of the cluster, chain three. We're going to work six double crochets into that stitch for a total of seven double crochets since the chain three counts as our first one. Okay, in the previous rounds we did exactly the same thing in each cluster and this time we're alternating between two. We're going to work seven double crochets in the center stitch of this cluster then skip two stitches, single crochet in the center stitch of the next cluster. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. That's it for a single crochet. So now we're going to skip the next two stitches. In the following stitch, we're going to work seven double crochets. Yarn over, insert your hook in the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. We'll do that a total of seven times. Three, four, 
five, six, seven, then skip two stitches and single crochet in the next stitch. And you can see now we have this really pretty scallop started. So you just want to complete that all the way around, or repeat that all the way around, and you'll have this beautiful scalloped edge when you're finished. You're going to fasten off the same way you join the rounds by slip stitch to join. Cut your yarn, pull it through to fasten off, uh, hand wash it, block to your finished me measurements, let it dry, and you are ready to wear your beautiful, seamless, crochet Mobius cowl.